Last song in the house. Hold on, okay? Yes. Can you remember what I said last week? Is it last week Sunday? I want to say last Sunday. Is it what I want? Yes, last week Sunday. Guys, come. So, uh, so what we're going to do last week Sunday. Yes. I'm not rich. Last week Sunday. It's a function of lifting. It's a function of promotions. We are tried. We are tempted. It is not bad. Because that's the test. No child will remain as one and fail and be promoted. Yes or no? Huh? When you are in class one, they will give you one. As a mission of one test. Huh? And if you fail, you remember. That's so. And if you pass, we promote you. Yes. So trial challenges. It is not a bad state to a Christian. It is what a force of hope marks your history. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We make some challenging as a child of God. In a serving God, different things happen to your life. Hey, they happen to your life. Hey, and you say, go, where is God? He called it church. Where, why am I this to happen to me? Then God, remember the days of Jesus. Some people die. Are you aware? In the days of Jesus, some die. In the days of Jesus, there are people who were crippled. He passed them. In the days of Jesus, there are people who were sick. He don't hit them. Are you aware? Are you aware? Yes, sir. There are people that are sick. He don't hit them. He hit them. People that were also died. Not everybody in the race. Not everybody in the race in the place of Jesus. But, so when you make challenges and trial and be able to stand, that shows Jesus' service. You are serving the Lord and it will mature you in this day. Trial! Temptation, you overcome, makes you a warrior, makes you a match of Christians. So, this is that comes your way in as a child of God, you overlook. No, this is it, cannot stop me from going to church. No, this is it. You know that some people, nobody can match them. If you match them, you say, I'm not, I'm not playing because I came to church. Those small people, they, they match me. I'm not blaming you now. See how you're talking to me. See how you look at my eyes. I'm not blaming you. They are not my children. They are babies. Say babies. Say babies. Yes. Number one, what you are talking, Jesus suffered it. He was given strife of many times. He was put in a box. And yet, still remain and lost to Jesus Christ. That's right. Die on the cross. Die a death of all shameful death. And yes, still men are saved. And yes, somebody just match you. And you call you one eyes to look at. And, and I so I don't blame you. This children, you, you know already from my first son, my first daughter. And you call yourself a Christian. You see the way you even react. If you go to occasion and they are sharing food, food that you have not received food, you see the way you react. They don't give me, they don't give me. They don't time. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? It made me cold. I feel ashamed. Hey. Seeing you spray your head, making noise in 
in the public that they have not given you food. Something are bigger than me. Like, I mean, you face carry voice, carry, you begin, you begin angry. And you carry that same voice, go house, go house. You lose, that's the maturity. That's big, big. And for that reason, he said, I will not go to church again. They look at me. You know, they respect me. Look at him, maturity. Hey, immature. That's what the signs of the Jewish Sabbath. We are serving the Lord. Those things, are you dead? If those who are dead can serve the Lord. Are you dead? A dead person can serve the Lord. Dead, but life in the spirit. Dead to flesh. And match you, you don't get great. So many people against you, you don't need your leg open to give you They do all kinds of matter of things. You need to run and overlook. Go forward. That's a genius son of God. A child of God. Somebody insulted you because you are serving God. There's no need in it. It's not commit. It's a grace to mature to you. It's a grace to defy your Christianity. It's not something to weigh you down or to weigh you down or to weigh you down. Or to weigh you down. How about goes? Some of you small things and little things that are not moved to life is what we have lost because we are not dead. Small things are shaking, small things are defying, small things are making noise, small things are investigating it. The church and talk and get the church 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 and get and pray before I enter the house. I'm not going to God was the evil because of the word of God. Can I say, you said before speeches, there was nothing like good results. In pouring it out, they played it and let go. I repeated and wrote down all the games. I repeated and wrote down the I was pouring the first one, and the second one was the first. I said, guys, let's see. I called the man. I said, I hope I don't run into you. Have I offended you? Have I done anything wrong? Why are you doing like this? The pieces of five millions, is that what I'm doing like this? And they came out of the room. The wife cried. I called him, please. You are a man of God. You are not the one that should do it in your heart. It wasn't my intention. It was my one. It was my I felt so bad. I call it man. If you see the way the man was talking, talking many things, saying many things, I became cold. I said, Are you not a pastor? Such a little son. Begin to talk. Talk. And the voice says, We find you two places with a greedy man. Because you will end up in pain. I repeat, never find you two places with what? A greedy man. It will, you will end up what? The man was good, but the man. Over the 
Jesus. The simple that makes somebody's life a direct story. And if a reaction may be positive, if it's correct, if it's negative, it will be damaged. I don't know Check. Check. Once again, you know somebody, 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 they will listen to somebody else, they will they don't come touch you and talk to you anyhow. Most especially these ushers, maybe they talk anyhow. And you will invest them where they are. You score shall not blame you. Not make you care people for us. And that will make it to Do you know some people who are here, who are here before, and also before, or whatever, that will be, either you are in the process of before, but you are not the guy in that office. Did he ask you? I don't know what you want. I don't want trouble. I don't see my own. I just want to see my own. No, no, no. I don't see my own. I just want, I don't want trouble at all. I want to make heaven. I'm not making heaven. If you are not going to heaven, let me tell you, you are not making heaven. Just this. Because why? You are destroying yourself already. Because why? An angel heart is the purpose for something. Because the grievance is the pain of the people that are in your heart. You are destroying yourself. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you know that your service you are giving is not unto man but unto God, nobody has the right to stop you. The friends of your brother and sister are not stopping for serving the Lord. If you are angry, I will bring you back. Maybe I'm doing something good and you're lying. I'm ignoring you. But if you ever want to be, I am the one. Okay. That's so. Yeah. 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 Nobody here, Paul said, what can I want? Who can separate me from the Lord of God? There's nothing. I'm not serving you. I'm serving my God. My life is for the glory of God. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Come with me quickly. Hebrew, chapter 12. Let me run off from my teacher. Hebrew, chapter 12. Of our faith. Who for the job? Now who for what? The job. 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 Who for what? There's a reward. There's a reward. You don't say there's a reward. There's a reward. For my service. Who for the job that was set before him? of the reward before us. Ah. We endure the cross. We endure the ways. We endure the challenges. We endure many things that comes our way. The strife, the beating, the neglect, the name callings. We endure it because there's a reward before us. But so many of us have known that revelations. And because of that, when there's a little challenge, you see, you that's like it. Eh? That's your No, 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 no. You're talking. When that you serve God, you must have to go back to God. Your masculinity does not reduce God. That's it. But rather, it's to your hands. You are to yourself hands. You make yourself vulnerable for Satan attack. You'll be going for one meeting for carrying a small bag. Like my mother in those days. Shout hallelujah. Looking for life, first of life. Looking for protection. Some of you are used to you know, the spirit of people. When they come to church, they raise the offering, they don't give. When they go and say, go and buy this, I will do, give me 50,000 to do work for you. I laugh at you. There's a joy 
that's the reward. Give me a breath, that's the reward. Again, say that's the reward. Say that's the reward. The friendship for our service. Say that's the reward. Say that's the reward. Say it well, say that's the reward. So your coming to church is not a waste of time. You are doing the house of God. It's not a waste of time. You are not wasting your money. You are not wasting your time. There's a reward attached to your service. There's a joy set before you. But sometimes it's like you are not aware. And people have not yet realized that there's a reward before you. After this else, and you are living here on earth, the last day of your breath. You are paid before the Lord. That is where you are the one who show us. All that the labor on earth here, all your service on earth here, it will show us. Welcome or go behind me. And now welcome or what? Go behind me. And now welcome or what? And now welcome or what? That's it. Because of the joy set before him, Jesus enjoyed what? The cross. The cross. You know, every day we are carrying our cross. Every day we carry our cross, our pains, our sorrow, our sickness, our affliction, our setback is serving the Lord because there's a reward ahead. There's a reward ahead. We carry our cross. No matter the neglect, no matter what people say, no matter the name calling, no matter whatever they are going to show. Then say, oh, help me, it's your name, they say, you won't. Say, look up to Jesus. Say, let's say, you won't. So never mind the affliction, the setback, the problem, the challenge. They say, you won't wait for sure. But my brother, are you carrying the cross? Or you are dropping it out? Or you just the struggle? Or whatever. He endured the cross because there's the reward. Shout hallelujah. I want to go with you. No matter what you are passing through, understand after this pain, there's a tool. There's no throne without a fight. There's no throne without a fight. There's no throne without a fight. You must fight to enter the throne. There's no throne before you enter the throne. There must be a battle. There must be a fight before you enter there. Because the community must fight you. The people you are living must fight you. People come in, they're sleeping. Your uncles, they say, this no boy, this thing. Was he entered there? But begin to fight to take away life. But after it, when you try out, by the time you overcome, there's a throne at the end of you. Let me hit your neighbor, there's a reward. That's a reward. And before reward, there's a service. Before reward, there's one is service. You can't get the reward without serving. You can't get the reward without serving. You come to serve the Lord, you see they go to Cassif, you get the heaven and earth. <laughs> Somebody is suffering in choir, you will come back to the who are you? Somebody is suffering in the church, I'm not impressed to the who are you? Just a test one. Who are you? Today, me, I'm not going to do anything about the church today. I'm going to look at them. Who are you? And there's plenty of reward. Expecting it round, you can't get it. It's not possible. The girls, I think it's not to ask a poster. The girls wasn't was another legend that served the Lord. He served the Lord. And after when he talked, okay. And you must tell this people close to the world, less privilege, so close and that, so close and that. And so when the time came, they said, Look at that. I said, Bite. Hey, the less privilege.
be with Christ. Anyway, because that, no, he cannot die. Because cannot die. He cannot die. He, he's going to put me this one. He's going to this one for me. He's going to and they were crying. When God saw that a vacuum has been there, because a vacuum is still not being created, He said, no, I will bring her back in. Because her own time was not found in the Bible then. We have not heard somebody who was also sharing blood from people who so blood. We only heard the man who cast, who actually was a generous person, giving out to clothe people nakedness, comfort and nakedness. And God saw, yes, there's a fact who left behind, the cast go back. The crying of people, the testimony of people back to the back. And because of a good work, God said, Go back. Can you lift up your hands? I don't know, uncle or sister or whatever, stepfather, stepfather, that found to break your life from family because of your works, because of what you are doing. The soul was tired of glory. But I'm man to show. I stand on this altar. Anyone that done that plan evil to destroy your life, we open the son of God. Jesus. 
Make you come Catholic majority. Endure. What do you think they endure? Endure. Endure all kinds of manner, all behavior, all attitude. Endure. And then as you look up to Jesus, you endure all kinds of manner as you come to him. The word you will endure, the word you will endure, that's a sign of service. Committed servant, a committed person, a mature servant. You don't look, the more you look at people, the more you get discouraged. The more you get discouraged, the more you are and then the Bible does say you can't put men, say you cannot walk until Jesus. They finish this, they only finish this. Shout hallelujah. Is that okay? And that's what Paul said, what? When Paul understood that, he said, then what? How do you look up to Jesus? He said, what shall separate me? What? I look up to men, I see failure, I see setback, I see arrogance. I see that those things cannot separate me from the love of Christ, which I encounter. The love of Christ which I encounter. Men, attitude, behavior cannot separate me. It can't. I'm serving the Lord. I'm looking on to the finisher, which name is Jesus. So, no character has looked to do my salvation. I serve my God and I make heavens. Let me tap your neighbors and look unto Jesus. Look unto Jesus. What does it take? Does that number one? Say humility. Humility. You serve God with humility. That is not broken. That is, there's no arrogance and pride. You have said God receives the pride. And it's not the humble one. On to a humble brother. You can't serve God because there are things. Most of the time, when you are gifted, you say, I can't see you. You're surprised in you. You see, without me, nobody. <laughs> you think they let go of the vessel. You know what they think God hates most? Pride. God hates it most. That means you are taking the place of God. You are taking, when you, when God saw a rock with your pride in you, you are telling him, you know, I am the owner of myself. You are telling God, whatever pity you carry, you are the maker. You are telling God, whatever wealth you make, you are the maker. But they say, I give you power to make the wealth. God does not give wealth, but he gives you power to make it. Shout hallelujah. God does not want. God does not want. Make wealth. But they do want. Yes, give power to make it. He gave you power to make it. So, you must go with him. To, you must believe, how they believe that God is capable of able. No matter if it is a constant, that God is able. To them that believe, there must be a performance. Those that believe performs, so that God will perform performs. In Luke chapter 1, chapter 1, from verse 38. He said, the Lord, there's performance to the Lord that believe. You must believe that the God of this is possible. You think I'm talking about? Believe. The reason we put it today was today is when we serve the Lord and issues come, we don't we feel discouraged, we feel stupid. We must believe. And the last one I'll say is a plan. It's wrong. You must be committed to the service of the kingdom. You must get committed to be a servant. No one leg in, one leg out. Get committed to be a servant. Some of you that you come to church, no way, no placement, no way of front. Then you throw yourself like Christians. You are not in the ocean, no prayer, nothing at all. And you are, you just come like that. You are not saved to be alone. You are saved to save others. Is that okay? Yes, sir. You are not saved to be alone. You are saved to save others. So you must get committed to save others. Who are committed? Arise from your face. If you are coming, clap your hand.